everybody. Hello. Hello. Hello and welcome <laughs> to the Kitchen and Jordan Show. Today, we are going to be trying every Aldi's barbecue food. That means all the foods, condiments, and various ecutimals mm -hmm. that you might find at a barbecue. Five sauces four dry rubs, five meats, three buns, four condiments, four sides, three condiments. Four more years. I think it's 25 things. We think it's 25 things. Kelly, if we're wrong, almost, you know what to do. No, I'm positive it's 25 it's things. 25 things. It's 25 things. And if it's not 25 things, then Kelly can come and eat my leg. I've been cooking for hours, literally two hours. That's, that's, that's added the, hours. It's that's the plural. Minimum, it's, it's the minimum number of hours that you could say. For it to be hours. To be hours. And I think I showered for 45 minutes of that. So a, a, a hot, cool 90 minutes. <laughs> First, we're going to be trying the Kirkwood All Natural Chicken Drumettes. We are going to be trying Original Memphis, Carolina. No. Original <laughs> Memphis, Kansas City, Carolina, and white. <laughs> Ivory barbecue sauce. It's Northern Alabama. So we're going to try the squeezable original barbecue sauce with the drumettes first. Cut me off a piece of that drumette. Cut me off a piece of that drum drumstick. It smells good. These chickens all smell very good. Yeah, I mean, the thing about uh, drumsticks is they're really hearty. Cute. They're like, they're difficult to f up. Well, sorry, drumsticks are really, they're not that hard. They're drums, you don't, you're not gonna mess up the drumsticks. Sorry, I'm trying to set it away. You're gonna mess up the sentence. <laughs> We're gonna mess up the sentence, but not the drumsticks. I have to stop using the F word so much so we don't get demonetized. I think it was just because we said to them times. You ready? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The chicken is very tender. The chicken is good. I'm gonna try a little bit more sauce on the side. I think the sauce doesn't bake well. Mm. Why did like, I wear white today? This is so dumb. Wait, you, you wore white on barbecue? Yeah, day? I don't know. I'm f gay. Why did you wear white today? I don't know. <laughs> I think this is pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. good. Next is barbecue Memphis, and I will smile. It's not a behind the scenes thing, but like we have to remember when we're whenever we're holding this up to like have happy faces, because sometimes you'll see shots of us. And it's so depressed. And we'll be like. <laughs> It looks like we're doing like a mug shot for food. It's a lot sweeter than the other one. Uh huh. But I like it. I do like it. That is pretty good. It does have a little, it has a little, I mean, it's not as spicy as I would like. I would say the Memphis barbecue sauce, really great. We should also say we're not the arbiters of barbecue. No. It's possible that if you are actually really an expert on barbecue and you try this, you're just like, Bleh. And like, you know what? That's probably correct. But like, all we have is our dainty mouths. Mm -hmm. The next one is the Kansas City barbecue sauce. Look happy, Jen. It's a good glaze. I don't think it bakes as well as I would like. That kind of has been your consistent note so far, though. My note on these. Like, they are good out of the bottle, but... I like that one the best so far. Ooh, that one's good. A little more acid. Mm -hmm. I think from, like, baseline, sweeter, more acid. Really Pretty, great? I think it's really great. Really great. I'm okay. Carolina. Oh, I'm making happy. <laughs> It's sweet, but in like a fruitier way. This definitely has more citrus in it. Yeah. Just based it's on- sweet, it's lighter. It's light and It tangier. is lighter. Okay, yes. It's lighter and tangier. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, let's try the white. Okay. This specific sauce is actually specifically for chicken and fries. I hope it's spicy. I'll be really happy if it's spicy. It is tangy. I don't like it. It kind of reminds me of like ranch a little bit, but like- I don't think it works. I think just okay. Um, yeah, I think it's just okay leaning on penalty box bad. I don't think it's penalty box bad. I think it's just okay. The ivory barbecue sauce, just okay. These drumettes, man. These drumettes are really, I'm excited to man. have leftovers. These I are, actually, these are delicious. These are good. I would say the chicken, pretty good. Oh wait, the tri-tip still. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, we're, gonna, we're moving on. Where did you? Oh God. Oh my gosh, so here's our tri-tip. Uh, our our tri-tip may look funny to you, but that's because it has like four different rubs on it. I'm very excited to try this. I love steak. I know you do. Perfect. Oh my God. Wait, show camera. That is beautiful. Look at this sexy little guy. So this is the tri-tip steak with the golden Carolina honey seasoning. Okay, I don't know if it's just that the meat is really good, but that is good. That was a delicious bite of food. That was delicious. Can I have that? Yeah, that was really good. That was really good. Oh my God. So I actually seared this myself and they rubbed it, it and rubbed it myself. I'm heating up oil in the pan. I'm literally my underwear, so don't pan down I'm too not much. I'm gonna pan down. I'm just gonna pan down to the pan. All right, I'm just searing our flag. 
Yum. Yum. And then it goes in the oven after you sear it? Yeah, it goes in the oven after you sear it. I put, so, I don't know, whatever. It's, it's dry rubs. I, yeah, I don't know how to they cook. They get it. I, they understand. Do you understand the concept of cooking? Yeah. Because if not, I can refer you to a different channel. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautiful cut what of meat. What a beautiful. We cooked this perfect. I mean, this has nothing to do with really the video, but wow, we wow, cooked this Wow, look at us. Look at us fing rock em, sock em robots. Carolina pretty Golden good. Honey. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, right. pretty good. So let's try the um, Kansas City Sweet Heat. Look happy, Jen. Look happy, Jen. Holy that's good. Here's the thing, the, Holy meat, that's good. the meat is is perfect. What if this is just a video about how you're really good at searing steak? The Kansas City Sweet Heat with like the, the tri-tip. Mm. 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 Hey, Bree, do you want some? Right? Isn't that delicious? Isn't that so good? This is incredible. But. But that's it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> the way you said that, I was just like, oh, here comes the butt. Kansas City Sweet Heat, really great. Really great. Okay, so what's the next one we're trying? The Nashville Hot Chicken. Nashville Hot Chicken. Which, like, this is steak. We should, you know, whatever. We probably should have put it on chicken. We're, we didn't do it. We that, didn't, we didn't do it. Steak. We put it on steak. It's fine. Mm. It tastes very similarly to, like, the barbecue mm. sauces we had on the chickens. This is actually a really, the Nashville Hot Chicken on the tri tip. It was really good if you want something a little spicy. Nashville hot chicken, pretty good. And then the final thing we are trying is the Texas Smoke Shack. Kristen, you have a real knife. Why are you doing this? <laughs> One woman dared to see just how inefficient she could be. <laughs> Whew, let's do it. Oh yeah. Mmm. You really taste the garlic in this one. The smoke shack is great. I think I might like the smoke stack the best. Okay. Can I eat that? Please. Hey, the smoke sack, I gotta say, is really great. Uh-huh. I don't mean to applaud myself, but like. I mean, <laughs> we have to get over this because we have other things to try, but it's it's hard because genuinely this is delicious. I need to try too, I think it's really great. All right, we're back with ribs. These are the, did we take a picture? Of this I did part? take, we did take a photo. What are these? The pork baby back ribs with a barbecue sauce. Oh, that's a really great photo. <laughs> it's an awful photo, <laughs> vile. They were pre-sauced. All we had to do was defrost them and then put them in the oven. Oh, you're eating them with a fork? Okay. Wait, wow. you're eating them with a fork. Oh, wait, you're eating it with your hands? I was like, what are you talking about? Sorry, I was projecting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're eating them with a fork? Oh, weirdo. They're fine. They're okay. They're okay. Are you okay? I'm fine. You're okay? Okay. The meat itself is like relatively tender. No, but the meat, eh, it's not tender. It's not meat, very tender. The meat itself is bad. These are just okay. You used to use it. <laughs> I laid an egg. <laughs> All right, Woo. welcome back. We're back. We had to take a little break in the middle of this video. Because I had a tummy ache. And honestly, it's great because- I'm hungry. A new day, new lunches, new uh, new meats. We're trying the all beef burgers with two kinds of buns, the brioche and the sesame. Also, it's the, the sliced cheese and also the Simply Nature tomato ketchup. You can tell that it's like, this is trying to be French's and this is trying to be Heinz, but it's not. It's so. not, but we'll see. The beef's a little crumbly. The mustard does taste like French's. I actually, I like the ketchup a lot, actually. The ketchup is pretty close to Heinz. So the mustard and ketchup, pretty good. Sesame bun, also pretty good. The patty itself, pretty good. Pretty good. Wow, I'm like impressed with this. All right, well, let's try this other one. Oh, a brioche bun. Oh my God. Wow. Mm, really holy, great. Holy banana pants. There's only one kind of hot dog. Wow. Sorry. Can you calm down. I, that was not a, a result of not being calm. Can you like- The result of not being careful. Over <laughs> so the name of the hot dog bun is La Oven Fresh. It's L -oven. La Oven. It's L apostrophe Oven. <laughs> and we're trying obviously the beef hot dogs, which we threw out the packaging. So this is the Great Gherkin Sweet Relish. Wait, what's it called? Sorry, what? It's Great Gherkins. Great Gherkins. I actually don't like relish, so I'm just gonna try like a little bit of it. Okay. Oh. God, I love hot dogs. Yeah, I love this. I'm gonna do another bite. You're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> that is really good. The buns are really good too. It's just straight from the oven. <laughs> it's a good hot dog. It's really great. Uh-huh. I shouldn't judge the relish. I don't like it. <laughs> it's very good. These are the great Gherkins kosher dill spears. Can you help? You do. <laughs> do, you need, do you need a big, strong, do you need a big, strong daddy to do this for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't mind it. <laughs> Did you show off the pickle? Yeah. This is, this is her. I'm actually not a big like dill pickle person. Brie actually uh, lo she hate? loves dill pickle flavor. But, but she hates pickles. But hates pickles. That's funny. They're pretty sour, but not oh. not like in a fun way. 
They don't really have that pop or crunch that you need a good pickle. These are just okay. They're not good. Uh-uh. <laughs> this is belly box bad. Belly box bad. That's bad. You yak. Bree's making her cornbread. Thank you, Bree, beautiful <laughs> lady. Not to be like, you know, crazy on Maine, but I will say it's like this scene right here, it's like, should I become a trad wife guy? <laughs> We didn't have the proper pan to bake this in, so we used a cast iron pan that was too large for the amount of batter that we had. Oh, look at that rise. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little dry, but to be fair, it's We made this earlier today, so that might not be totally on the bread. I feel like cornbread is very often a vehicle for the whatever butter. Mm -hmm. So like without it, it's just kind of like, well, this is cornbread, it's good. And I think it's just okay. I think it's just okay, but I will have more of it. Beans! Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize you were going to announce it so regally. We have these uh, Dakota's Pride Original Baked Beans. If you made your own, I would make the sauce a little thicker. Mm -hmm. They're pretty good. Chop up some hot dogs, put it in there, get yourself a good little dinner. <laughs> if you're me and it's 1991. <laughs> Beanie Weenie was my favorite food as a kid. That's really cute. Yeah, what foods did you like as a kid that are gross? I would put hot dogs in grilled cheese, but I still think that's good. You put hot dogs in grilled cheese? I would slice them, I would slice them like Nasty. vertical so they would lie thin on top of my grilled cheese. That's so gross. Why did we like hot dogs in weird places? I don't know, Beanie Weenie. <laughs> All right, now we've come to the sides portion of this adventure. Look happy, Jen. <laughs> I'm happy. I was extra weird for the, for the potato salad. Good. Girls used to say to me, you better be normal for that potato salad. Okay, I was like, girls used to say to me, your tastes like coleslaw. What? No. It's so mean. Okay. Well, actually, it was like, what? Also, no, it's It fine. didn't happen. My, okay, my we're, we're, fine. So let's get you. All right, we're trying sides from all these. <laughs> Which one of these are gonna taste like uh, hopefully none of them actually. I don't think I don't I don't think we want that. Okay, uh what Just we kidding. Do? We obviously do! <laughs> it's Pride Month! It's Pride Month! Everybody be normal, shut the f up and be normal! When I was a kid, people used no, to say- No, no, already bad. Let's try again, try again to be normal. Give me 30 seconds of normalcy, go, 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 go. When I was in college, Ice people- is thin. Ice is thin. I said 30 seconds of normalcy. Let me be normal! All right, give, give it your best shot. When I was in college, the girls used to say my is All right, get the f out of here. <laughs> That's why I'm partnering with Aldi this 4th of July. I said everyone be <laughs> normal. <laughs> so this macaroni salad with sweet pickles, celery onions, and red bell peppers in a creamy dressing. This seems like a Hawaiian mac salad almost. On its own? Okay. It's good. It's, good. it's, it's mean, pretty acidic, so I feel like it would go great with like a hot dog. It's a little bland. It's a little, it's a little bitter. Mm, that aftertaste is like really metallic. I'm gonna need some water actually. This is just this is, the macaroni salad just this okay. This is just okay. Alright, the original potato salad. It's got celery, sweet pickles, onion eggs, and red bell peppers in a blended dressing. There's two pitfalls when it comes to potato salad. Either the potatoes are cut too largely yeah. and they can't blend with the other ingredients, or there's too much mayonnaise. So let's see which pothole this falls into. This is really hard, yeah. Hey, big strong daddy. Everybody needs to be normal. <laughs> no. When you say everybody, it kind of seems like you're targeting me. Uh, I might need to call it big strong daddy. Here we go, got it. She got it, she got it. I was my own daddy. Oh, this might have a th like the coveted third problem, which is two big egg pieces. Not bad, actually not bad. Not bad, but I want to get some paprika and see if it helps. Okay. It's better with the paprika. Yeah, it is. Unseasoned, just okay. Add your own seasoning, pretty good. Sides are not impressing me. I'll send it with coleslaw. Actually, pretty decent. There's a good amount of vinegar. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good coleslaw. Oh, I will say I'm not a fan of finely diced uh, coleslaw. I usually prefer my coleslaw to have bigger pieces. But like, this is actually pretty good. Okay. Wow, we did it. We, we did th it. We threw a whole barbecue for ourselves in my kitchen. The quality of like the meat and seasoning stuff and like the buns, like the mains, very high. All very good, yeah. Honestly, the only main I didn't like was the ribs. Yeah, that was like the lowest rated meat. Everything else was like pretty up top. Quality of the sides, meh, meh. Make your mileage your, make, may vary. I mean, make your own sides. These were likely made in like a giant side trough somewhere. It just, it's not gonna be as good. So what general category of food do you think we should do next? I like the idea of doing like the food that you might get for X occasion. Yeah. From one store. Yeah. Because sometimes you don't want to go to different stores. Except in this case, you will have to because these the sides, sides are, are not, not very good. good. Yeah. Thanks everyone. Thanks everyone. We'll see you later. Goodbye smooches. Kiss it. Me, 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 me. I'm gonna wait to burp until we go. Yeah, we can cut. <laughs>